All right, guys, welcome back. We are going to be covering touch events and how to move our paddles by using our mouse as well as the touch screen of our mobile phones in this video. So there are three main ways to detect and react to touch on Kiwi. First is the on touch down function, which is automatically called when we touch the screen with our fingers or with our mouse. And when we lift off our finger off the screen, then the on touch up function is called. And third is the on touch move function, which is called when we keep touching the screen and drag our finger across the screen without lifting it. A great example of this function is like swiping right on Tinder. You drag your finger across the screen in one clean motion. And that is basically on touch move function being called in Kiwi. And to move our paddles up and down, we'll be using this on touch move function. So we will go inside our Pong game class create a new method and we are going to call this function on touch move function. It will take two arguments. First is itself like every other method inside a class and second argument is the touch argument. This touch argument will contain all kinds of information. For example, in our case, it's going to contain the X and Y coordinate of where we touch the screen. Now we will need to tell our code two things. Firstly, what to do if the screen is touched and secondly, where is the touching allowed? So in our game, we'll be only allowing the paddles to be moved if the touch happens before the score text for our player left, which is approximately one fourth of our game window. And similarly, for the right player, we'll be only allowing touch after the score text, whose X coordinate will be almost equal to three fourths of the screen. So inside our on touch move function, we'll create an if condition for our left player, which checks whether the X coordinate of where we touch the screen is less than one fourth of the screen or not. We are basically comparing the X coordinates. And if this is true, then we'll move our paddle to the Y coordinate of where we touch our screen. We do this by making the center of a paddle, which can be referenced by center underscore Y equal to the Y coordinate of where we touch the screen. And similarly for the right player, we check whether the X coordinate of where we touch the screen is greater than the three fourth of the screen or not. We do this by multiplying the width of our screen by three by four. You actually have to remember that this is actually an X coordinate. I'm just calling it three fourth of the screen to make it more understandable. And if this statement is true, we'll again move our paddle to where the screen was touched. And then just like we did with our ball, we are going to hook up our code with our KV file. Otherwise the paddle is not going to move because at the end of the day, KV file is responsible for redrawing the paddle in different positions. So we'll create two object properties called player one and player two with their default values as none. And then inside our KV file, we will add them inside our Pong game. So player one will have the ID of player left and player two will reference the ID of player right. We've already created these IDs down below. So now we can go back to our main program and check whether the movement and the touch of our paddles is working or not. So if we go after the zero and move our right player, you can see that this paddle is moving. You have to drag it with your mouse. You have to keep pressing your mouse button and then drag it. And similarly, if you are using it on your mobile phone, you have to drag it. And then similarly on the left player, if you do it before this zero, only then the paddles are going to move because we have put an if condition. So this is pretty much it for this case. In the next video, we are going to work on the collision detection system. So currently when the ball is touching the paddles, nothing is happening. So we'll be working on that collision detection in the next video. I'll see you over there.